Hello out there. My name is Andy and this is an additional video to the webinar about the Zero Touch configuration. In the last webinar we showed how you can ship a box to your employees, every employee take one of the phones, switch it on, enter a username and a password and the device gets enrolled automatically. But entering a username and a password is of course, like a lot of our customers say, not really zero touch. That's why I record this video now where I want to show the strengths of zero touch configuration when the administrator is assigning a device to a user. As you can see, I already have enrolled my managed Google Play Enterprise account for my user and in the zero touch portal here you can see it's the same user. If you want to pre-assign a device, you have to do this at the user. So here is my user. I open the user and here I can see the device identifier of the device at the right of my screen. This device identifier you also can see here in the Zero Touch configuration portal. This is the same EMI. What did I differently than the last time? I did some adjustments at this configuration. Like in the last video, I entered a configuration name, an EMM DPC provider, but here are some TPC extras. You can find those TPC extras also in Mirador Online. If you go to the infrastructure diagram and select Android devices, you could download here a custom configuration file. This custom configuration file has the same values inside like I have entered here at the TPC extras. At the end of this video you would find a link with the detailed description. What is similar to the last video is the company name, account email, contact phone and custom message. So I say apply. I go to the devices in the Zero Touch enrollment portal, select the device and select the enrollment profile. I have already pre-selected this one. So on the right side you can see my phone and I haven't enrolled the phone yet so there has been no enrollment. There is no device inside of Mirador Online. So what I do now is I switch on this phone on the right the first time. I hope the battery is loaded. Yes, seems to. This device on the right is a Nokia uh, for zero touch enrollment. Android 8 Oreo is required. So I let the language be in English. There is no SIM card insert, I skip, I say I want to set it up as a new. There should be a Wi-Fi without a password, so it's obtaining an IP address, it's checking for some updates. Let's see how long this will take, I guess the device is new and up to date, but we will see in some seconds. And here you can see, set up your device, as in the last webinar, you can see Mirador Online Client, press the Accept and Continue button and the device automatically is doing the setup as a work device. So let's wait until this is finished. And as you can see on the right of my screen, the Mirador client is already connected.
and this device should be now already be visible here in Mirador Online in some seconds. I try to sync again. If I can see the name of the site in the client, I should be also able to see the client here in Mirador Online. And now I can see the client has successfully connected. You can see here the site name webinar. On the left you can see the device HMD Global you can see there is already a user assigned and if I go back to my home screen I should see that there will happen some things I show you on the left some action should happen there should be the creation that is already completed and there should be the deployment of the Gmail application to the phone. I have pre-configured this with the business policies so all phones that are in device owner mode should get the Gmail application. So let's have a look at the phone again if it's already there. Oh and it's already there. It's already there so there is the Gmail application installed. So I unlock the phone when I go to my application, select Gmail, I press OK and I can see the device is already pre-configured for a user. Why does the phone know my email address or my Active Directory username? Because I did already the pre-configuration with the Gmail client here. When I click on the Gmail client, as in the last video, I can go here to the configuration step and here you can see please take the email address from the user settings also the username and I have entered here my exchange server host name. So this was a quick overview over the zero touch enrollment when I pre-assign devices to a user. So to sum it up what you have to do is add the device identifier to the user this is very easy, you can port it from a CSV file or you can add it here manually at the actions bar when you say here add device identifier and at the zero touch bottle you have to create the configuration like I did before where you add those values here at the TPC extras and these values are provided through Mirador Online from the infrastructure diagram. Here when you choose Android devices this is the custom configuration file. As already mentioned I will link the description at the end of the video. That's very easy and very simple and makes enrollment of new Android devices very efficient. So thanks for your attention and I will be glad if you see you here in one of our webinars again. Goodbye.